Hi and welcome. I'm Rob D'Amico from Race Day on Fox Sports Radio. Time now for your NASCAR Sprint Cup Race Day results. And it was Jamie McMurray. Congratulations to him getting the win and Kyle Busch ending up second. By the way, Jamie McMurray, this is the first time a non-chaser has won one of these races so far this season. And also Jimmy Johnson, another chase driver, leading the points right now. Uh, Jimmy Johnson uh, in that third position. Denny Hamlin fourth. Greg Biffle fifth. Matt Kenseth sixth. Seventh, it was Joey Logano. Eighth, it was Kevin Harvick. Ninth, uh, David Rudiman. And rounding out the top ten, it was David Reagan. Congratulations to those guys. And i got to be honest with you, Jamie McMurray getting the win. Very emotional for him and means a ton. Let's go to the race day conference cam in the media center and talk with Jamie McMurray. After coming so close in the, the 600 earlier in the season, I really felt like anything less than winning this weekend would have been disappointing. We, uh, we we had such a great car in the spring, and it just wasn't good enough on the on the short run. And and tonight it was it was very similar to that. And, and as I was catching Kyle towards the end of the race, you know, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, as long as the caution doesn't come out, we're we're going to be able to win this thing. Because I was catching him pretty fast. And then when the caution came out, I just I really wasn't sure if I was going to have enough speed to to outrun him in in 25 or 30 laps. But uh, man, it just uh, it was just our night. No doubt about that. Great job on your part. And in my opinion, he deserves a spot in the chase. If we're going to change anything for 2011, let's make sure we get some of these guys that have wins under their belt. This is his third of the season. He had two going in before the chase. A wild card. If you have wins, you're in. That's the way it should be. This guy would be definitely battling it up uh, for a championship this year. You know, getting close enough. And here is uh, Kevin Bonio, his crew chief, talking about that. How this helps him. Not being in the chase helps them for 2011, and this is important for these guys. There's no doubt about that as they head to 2011 and finish out their season strong. It also gives us time at the shop to actually take a breath, you know, and uh, say, okay, we didn't make this chase. It's, it's, all right, it's, it's hit, you know. All right, now what are we going to do for the next 10 races to, to still race good but have a little bit of fun because it's, as you all know, a very trying and, and stressful job. Uh, including yourself coming in in here every week and in different different venues, so uh, just just a just a breath of fresh air um, and lining things up for 011 maybe 10 weeks sooner than than the guys in the chase that are concentrating on making making a uh, name for themselves at the end of the year. And you got guys like Jimmy Johnson going for his fifth consecutive championship, and can he pull it off? There's no doubt about that. Uh, this guy is strong and the guy to beat, but. Early in the race, he spun and thought his chances were up at that point. I'm so relieved. I'm glad to be sitting in here in third spot and still leading the points. Um, it's amazing what goes through your mind when you're sideways sliding in the back straightaway. I mean, I just I saw all my hard work for the year and all the dreams of being a five-time champion just go away. And fortunately, I got the car turned away from the inside wall. And, and uh, at that point, it kind of scared me straight. And I'm like, okay, just stay smooth. Um, we can salvage a decent finish out of today. Maybe we won't win. Maybe we won't be in the top five, but I know we can get a good finish out of this if we keep our composure. There's no other team better to face adversity than Jimmy Johnson, Chad Knauss, and that number 48 team. All right, stick around. I got Kyle Busch apologizing. That's right, apologizing. Find out what it's for coming up next. It's only 15 seconds away. Stick around. Welcome to Race Day on the Now Network. Right now, 712,000 people can listen to live race audio on NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile. Most overheard phrase? Get the NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile app, newly redesigned and free with any data plan. Only from Sprint, the Now Network. That's right, you heard me correctly. Kyle Busch apologizing. Right now we go to the Race Day conference cam in the Media Center at Charlotte. And here's Kyle Busch talking about why he apologizes. I can't say enough about all my guys and everybody that works and does uh, as hard as as hard as they work and do such a great job that they do. It's just very very frustrating and uh, you know I apologize to everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing for just not being able to get, bring it home tonight. Apparently, uh, just didn't have the right adjustment in the car there at the end. Just perfect example, two nights in a row, and um, you know didn't quite find what it took here uh, from last night into tonight. Sucks to finish second, doesn't it? Eh. You know, some people take second. But anyways, obviously a very passionate race car driver, and we watch history every time he gets to the track, no doubt about it, especially in the Nationwide Series. All right, I'm Rob D'Amico. Don't forget to check out my show on the weekends, Race Day on Fox Sports Radio. You're looking for more information? All you got to do is log on, racedayonfox.com. Appreciate you watching, and join us back here tomorrow.